So how about uh, go over the, so like what's the checklist or, or what's the steps to having and running a successful virtual wholesaling business? What are the, what are the integral parts, moving parts? I think the number one thing, Jay, right out of the gate is first of all, it's the mindset piece. And that is people have to be willing to understand that you actually can put deals together right over the phone with somebody. Mm -hmm. That is a big limiting belief for a lot of people. And I was in the same boat, Jay, for many years because I did all the acquisitions myself for a lot of years, went on thousands of appointments. And I realized something, Jay, that I thought, well, you know, if I can do this in the field, why couldn't I do this virtually? Mm -hmm. And it was really a limiting belief, really more than anything. And what I, what I really tied it down to, Jay, was this whole virtual side of things was that when you go into a sales process, the biggest problem with most people is they stop the sales process. So if you think about it, we're talking to a seller on the phone and then we have a great connection with them. We're flowing through things. And then all of a sudden we pull back to set up an appointment to take a look at the property. And what I've learned and I train my team as well as others that I train in my acquisition side of things is I've learned to just continue the flow of the sales process. So what we do then is basically just continue it like I'm meeting with you in person and we just do that virtually. So to me, that's one of the key things right out of the gate. First of all is mindset. Okay. You've got to change that. Then, then I really look at is you've got to uh, understand your metrics too. That's a big component of things. And I know some of you uh, in this uh, listeners on here might just be doing that themselves. That's fine. Still measure your results. Because if you measure those on a daily basis, you're going to understand, you know, where you need to improve at. And it's typically what I find, Jay, it's most of the time it's tied in to just either not enough leads or it's a lack of something in the sales process that you're skipping a step. But if you really work on that, you can do this from anywhere. Then the other component I look at is understanding the operational side of the business mm -hmm. and what i and looking at that when it comes to wholesaling you think about it it's it's just a matter of executing everything in a virtual basis instead of doing it in person so i look at it as like a production line process that's how we look at our business we look at here's an assembly line that we have going on so we look at anybody that's starting in the virtual wholesaling side, you just start looking at all the different moving parts within that business, okay? And then what you start looking at is how we can basically execute that without us personally being involved in that in every area. So we just start assigning it out. Maybe we have some VAs, uh, maybe we have like, um, if we're doing a completely different market, we set up somebody else to be boots on the ground. OK, where they'll go out to the properties. We have found, Jay, one of our big things is we have been we just hire local inspectors wherever we go. And then they go out and they become our eyes for the property. So now they're going out. So you hire home inspectors, but you're not ordering a home in a traditional home inspection, right? No, no it what's your, what's would be your way too awesome. You know, what's your arrangement with a, that's a, that's really a brilliant idea. I mean, who else better to look at a property than a home inspector, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um, what's your arrangement look like with the home inspectors when they're like doing, um, you know, your eyes for you and like estimating repairs? Well, what we do on that, Jay, is we have it set up where they, we actually, instead of them to have to do a big, long report, we actually have a report already made up. And they just fill that document out. We actually have a whole um, inspection process that we share with our students. Like they go in, we give them the ad that they run. They actually find people that way. Then we have a little agreement with them that they sign with the uh, inspector. And then we have a document they fill out. And we also 
detail in there, how many pictures and what pictures to take. We require a minimum of 100 photos and everything is submitted uh, electronically and we and that's just done through that process over and over again. 